How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I have a fresh unfrozen turkey over here and I'm gonna try to cook it with this heat gun. This video is brought to you by FlexiSpot. They provided me with this sit-stand desk so that I can cook the turkey on top of it. Everyone's working from home these days because of the COVID times. It's time to get yourself a sit-stand desk because it's just healthier for you to stand. It features this beautiful carbon fiber surface. If you guys are interested in this table, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video description below. In fact, I am getting over there right now. It's over there. Now I measured the output temperature of this thing already. It's about 300 degrees, so I think I should be able to do it. With that said, we need to prepare the turkey just like if you were gonna oven roast it. Be careful not to cut the inner skin. Quite icy inside here. See what else is inside. The first thing you wanna do is just kind of reach between the skin because you wanna flavor it with a little bit of butter but don't rip the skin. This feels wrong, but you gotta do it. I'm going all the way in there. Yeah, get in there. Don't forget to do the drumstick too. Be careful of this part, cause this looks like it's gonna almost about to rip, but go around the drumstick here. I see that there's no wing tip on this one. Otherwise I would just fold it in and put it over here and it would be tucked in, but we don't need any tucking today. Packet of giblets, it's right in the front cavity over here. This is an 18 pound turkey. It shows that it's gonna take three to three and a half hours if it's roasting at 325. These are just some basic ingredients. I got half a stick of butter, two teaspoons of thyme, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a little bit of salt, pour this butter thyme mixture inside the cavity between the skin and the meat. Why? Because if you put it on the skin, it's not gonna get soaked into the meat and your meat will taste very bland. Put a little bit here, put a little bit there, and just kind of move it all over the place inside. Just get it everywhere. It's solidifying like this because the turkey is cold, but put a little bit inside, kind of rub it all over. Now it's gonna be very tasty. I got the rest of the salt, rub it all over the turkey. Now you need some sunblock, so I'm just gonna put some oil all over. This will crispen the skin. So you just kind of wanna rub it all over the skin portion of this turkey. Flip it over, rub it all over the back too and also the wings. I kind of tore the skin over here, but this is fixable. Just like that, it's repaired. Just in case you guys are wondering if you can do this with a hair dryer, because it only reaches around 140 degrees, four inches away from this hair dryer. I do not recommend using a hair dryer to do this. Instead, what I have over here is a heat gun. Heat gun gets a little bit hotter. It's about 300 degrees now. So the idea here is to not burn the turkey. I am highly motivated to eat this turkey because I paid $40 for it. Okay, we're ready to go, turn it on. I want it on high. It looks like it's burning the little edges already, but that's all right. I can see there are a bunch of juices that's collecting at the bottom. A strange side effect of this is that it smells like Thanksgiving now, very, very quickly after you heat up this turkey. It's just been like five minutes or so and it smells really good. My smoke alarm started going off, so I turned that off just temporarily. I'm surprised the thermometer is already reaching 135 degrees. Right around that area, the thigh is gonna get cooked very easily. my heat gun broke. Probably have to toss this heat gun and uh, use a more industrial strength one. Here's a more industrial strength heat gun. You see there's like a good eight inches of metal. So this is not gonna melt if you use it for a really long time. It's been about 20 minutes since I started this experiment. I hope this heat gun will last. A nice and toasty 270 
325. This will cook it. Yeah, it's getting nice and crispy right here next to the thigh. Half an hour in, feels cold, feels cold, 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 cold. A little bit warm right here. It's warm. It's warm right here too, because I think air is getting in there. 50 minutes in and the thigh has reached an internal temperature of 100. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty uneven. I moved it to this side and it's really cold over here. Looks like I need to kind of, I don't know, move, move the heat around to get it to be even. High temperature, 160 right now. Well, I started cooking this turkey at 6.20 p.m. Right now it's 1.20 a.m. or so. I've been cooking this about seven hours. And what I've come to realize is that this heat gun, it's a point source. So you're just spraying it all over the place. How do you know that it's quite even? In an oven, it's different, right? Because it's all over the place. That's 350 degrees right here. I can apply about 350 degrees, you know, right about three inches in front of this thing. And the diameter is maybe like two inches. So I got to put a little bit of heat here, a little bit of heat there. And I, I don't know. I don't even think this turkey, it's fully cooked, but we will see. We'll, we'll cut into it and see what happens. When I was putting the heat gun right in the cavity, that seems to be cooking a lot because a lot of aroma came out. But once I started cooking the outside, it didn't give off much steam and it doesn't seem like I'm doing very much. Right here, the temperature, it's even, you know, 145 degrees in the thigh right now. Both thighs did reach 170 degrees. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see if this is cooked or not. Let's see this. Okay, well. Oh, that looks done enough. I wonder if I can eat this. Is this, it looks done. It's not quite crispy. I think it needs a little bit more. That looks very done. Keep in mind, this is like the very, very top layer though. Now let's cut the dark meat. I feel like this is definitely not going to be done, but let's just cut through it and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's not going to be done. I don't think it's going to be done. It's raw. It's raw. It's raw. No good. It's kind of raw over here, but it seems edible at some parts of this drumstick, like on the outside. So I can Go ahead and eat a piece on the outside. This looks a little slightly pink, so I'm gonna keep that right there. I can probably just cut another piece off of the breast meat here. Oh, yeah. This looks very delicious, quite edible. Remember I put the thermometer on the dark meat right in the inside here. It's kind of bloody in there. I don't know why the thermometer said what it was. It probably got hot here, but maybe not further back into the turkey. But the breast meat is not that bad. I actually want to know how far in it cooks. So I'm just going to cut right down the middle of this. Okay. 
So from the looks of this, the outside got cooked probably half an inch from the outside in and the inside out, it got cooked about inch and a half or so. So the inside part over here is definitely done, but there still needs more work uh, to cook this part. If I strategically pull it from the correct spots to eat, yeah, this is definitely done. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. So there you have it. I think you can cook a turkey with a heat gun, except it's probably gonna take you about 12 hours because I did it for seven. I think if you keep on going at this, make sure it's really, really well done from the outside, it will cook. Like I said, I think you probably need to put the thermometer in at various points, further away from the heat source, right in the center of the chicken breast meat and also furthest in for the thigh. So there you have it. I did cook the turkey with the heat gun, ate part of it. And although I did not make a perfect turkey, I think it is possible with a little bit more effort. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like, comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna give this a try for this Thanksgiving. Just make sure you have about a good 12, maybe even 16 hours to do this heat gun experiment and fully cook the turkey. And as always, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.